Well, we're still on the road. We just made a quick little pit stop. Um, Wapakoneta, Ohio. It's another, sounds like another Indian name, don't it? But I'd stop and get some gas and look across the street and there's the jet in the parking lot. So, of course you can't be going down the highway and see a jet and not stop and take a look at it. And I figure I'd share it with you guys. So, let's take a quick... Take the next left toward Apollo Drive, then turn left onto Apollo Drive. That's my GPS it's saying, hey, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be going on down the road. <laughs> so, this is the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Um, of course, the top, the dome there is made to look like a, a giant moon. Um, I've been here before. It's pretty cool on the inside. They've got moon rocks and... Um, just all kinds of little space related stuff there's even a uh, star trek exhibit on the inside uh, looks like they are doing some construction so maybe come spring they'll have something new going on and then back over here in the corner they've got some apollo moon capsules um, that are they're not the actual things i don't believe i think they're replicas but kids can play around in them and even the adults if you want to get in there and take get your picture taken with it but uh let's jump out and take a look at this jet and uh see what it is all right we're back guys this thing is massive pretty bad boy right here you can actually get out and touch it and sitting right here in the middle of the parking lot pretty neat well you can't take off of it though they've got the afterburners all blocked up NASA 213. Kind of cool. I don't see a plaque given any information about it unless it's buried under the snow or something somewhere but uh really freaking sweet so little off the wall adventure we're uh looking for arrowheads and NASA finding space jets <laughs> so anyways we'll get back on the road just wanted to share that